Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy, Mid Poke Master here, and today we're gonna be, the, be doing the team builder and battle for an STL Week Eight against the Philadelphia Nightwings and Twigs Crobats. I'm sorry that this battle is so late. I just I've been really busy this past week and this week, so I haven't had time to sit down and just record videos. There's probably going to be an update video coming out sometime next week. So look forward to that. And we didn't make two free agent moves in an STL since there is. Since week 9 is the last week you can make free actions for. I, I look at the mods available and I was like, this is perfect for our next matchup. Because I have no switch-ins on my team to some of the mods my opponent had. So we dropped so I dropped Salazzle and I think it was Spiritomb, yeah. Because one, I never brought Spiritomb and didn't look good in any of my matchups. And Salazzle was good, but I I just can never work it right. I tried it. I had another league I did really great with it, so... But in this league, it just didn't do good for me. I don't know if it's just because of the way I was playing, or if... My opponents over prepped for it. I don't know, but I just thought it was time for it to go. And it was. But, so we picked up... Incineroar, which is kind of a mascot pick. But it's really great with Intimidate ability now and Ambi Palm, so we didn't lose the speed gap between Salamance, Galvantula, and Megalop. So we still get so it's just a little bit slower, but 115 is nothing to laugh at. So So I really thought these moves were really beneficial for the team. And looking at future matchups, they really did help a lot. So Let's just get straight into the team builder. So, my opponent has a team of Mega Mawile, -Wow, Zapdos, Porygon 2, Victini, Cream Marina, Scolopede, Yuxi, Hydreigon, and Meryl. So, Meryl's never gonna come. He also didn't get to draft this team. This person dropped right after the draft. So, he didn't really have a chance to really prove himself this season. So I'm really excited for next season to where he really gets to show himself off for how great of a drafter and battler he is. He's one of the nicest guys I've ever met. So first one we're bringing is Dane the Megalop with High Jump Kick for turn, Fake Out Quick Attack. You're probably wondering why two priority moves? Well he has a school peak. That will do a lot to a school feed. I think it's like a minimum of like 66.6. We'll have to calc that real quick, but real quick. But high jump kick in return hits everything on his team. Most of the time I don't even have to click return. I just actually I mean the other thing. Most of the time I had to click high jump click, I just kick click return. So Megalop just destroys this team like it does every other team. So it's just really exciting to see how, if I'm gonna have to even use those two moves. So I'm currently calculating what Fake Out and Quick Attack do. Actually, minimum is 62.2, so that's not bad at all. So, if he's like Life Orb and he just takes a few hits, that won't be bad. So next one we are bringing is one of the main reasons why I picked it up, is for this week, is Hacker the Incineroar. Travel Berry, Intimidate, Willow Wisp, Fire Punch, Lock Off, U-Turn. This thing has to switch in to Mega Mawile and Victini every single time. So... I can will list the Mega Mawile, and I can just knock off the Victini. 
So I'm really excited to use this Incineroar. I've never used it before. It always gets sniped like the round before I go to pick it. So this is just going to be really exciting to see how it works. And also this is the Battle of the Alola starters because of Primarina. So I want so I'm trying to show off that Incineroar and Torcat, best mons out there. So this is enough. I it's something to look from Victini. Actually, you know, it's just enough to outspeed like Mobile trying to be speedy, but at the same time bulky. So we just put that much. We just put 60 because we didn't think he would go past 87. And then we just threw the rest in HP and defense. I should. We should have gone to this much. But that's not how it went, so I had an even amount. So that meant every time I was switching to Stealth Rocks, I took 25%, which is a, not good. And then you turn if I'm in Omega Mall Wall and I think he's gonna switch, I just do that. And then Chapel Berry, because the only move that Bikini has to break in Sinroar is Focus Blast for Brick Break. So we brought Chapel Berry just so I could take it on. And also there's this nickname just reminded me that Hacker helps me build these teams almost every week. He's the reason I've made it this far in STL. And I just want to personally thank him for helping me come this far in the season. Without him, there's no way I would be here right now. I probably would have lost half of these games. There's no way I would have made it this far because I like to say I'm decent at prep, but Hacker, I. Sometimes I'll build a team and he'll give, give me his suggestions, or he'll make a team and I'll give him my suggestions. But without him, there's no way I would make it this far. So I just want to thank him. So next one we are bringing is Skippy the Garbantula. His only switch in is Porygon 2, especially defensive Porygon 2. And he probably won't, won't want to do that just for Garbantula. Thunder destroys everything on his team except for Hydreion. So, we got Bloodless for that. Low switch just for general momentum. And if he, and if he brings in Pori, if I think he's gonna bring in Pori on too, I can just put Toxic. So, that's basically all it is. Enough speed to outspeed Big Team Me and Zapdos, and then just the rest of the special attack and HP. So the next one we are bringing is Reese's the Dawn Fan. So you may see this very crazy spread for Dawn Fan. To be honest, I don't remember what it was for. It might have been for Hydreigon. I know that HP and Special Defense investment meant something. It was probably to take something from Victini. Or probably Hydreigon. But either way, this is the spread. Stone Edge, EQ Knockoff, Ice Shard. Stone Edge to hit Zapdos and Victini. But EQ is going to be better on Victini. Knockoff to get rid of a P2 ZV Light than Ice Shard. Because he is very uh, priority weak. So I'm trying to abuse that a lot. So, knockoffs also for the Yuxi. So, next one we are bringing, it's not a shocker. It's Blastoise. I gotta, you gotta bring the counter Mirko. It does way too well this week not to use it. Scald Protect Counter Mirko. Max defensive with a little special defense investment. Scald Protect Counter Mirko. Wakan Berry. So I can take a Thunder or Bolt Strike from Victini. Protect if it's out against Victini, I'm gonna protect to see what kind of spread it is, like it's physical or special, and go for the according move. That's really all this thing has to do this week, is just click counter Mirko. And that should just be enough. And the final one we are bringing is a classic on this team. I robot the Registone. Okaberry, EQ, Seismic, Toss, Stealth Rock, Toxic. 
We had this to love something too. It might have been something from Zapdos. I'm gonna go check. That's gonna be a lot of DMs I have to go look up. Cause I have a front office server, but we never use it, which I know is kind of weird. So the red still spread is to live a Grandium Sea Sculpid and then a regular Earthquake. Just so I can live. That's really all it's for. And Okaberry Earthquake is for Victini. I can live any hit from Fool. And then if it's and then do 50% back. If it's V create and gets the minus one special not special and defense drop, it'll do around 50%. So this match was really hard to prep for. I when I was going into this match, I really thought I was going to lose just because it's hard to have switches to his two threats and Victini and uh, Mega Mawile and Victini falling ground four. That, that was just insane to me, so. Anyway guys, I'll see you in the battle. Peace. And here is the battle. So as you see, he brings Mega Mawile, Zapdos, P2, Victini, Uxie, and Primarina. So, I think I lead off with Galvant- No, I lead off with Registeel. So, let me just wait for these to load. And, so, because nothing on his team wants Toxic. And nothing on his team can just one hit KO me. So it was like, I bring in Registeel, and there comes Uxie just winning up Stealth Rock, so I just go for Toxic. As he switches out of the Premium Marina, I just go for Stealth Rock. Now, I didn't know what to really switch into here, so I just let it stay in. I was even for Scald, and I missed a Toxic. I feel like Gray, the Commissioner of the League, his team misses all his toxics. So I just switch into Blastoise there to take a Scald. And I take 28%. That's a lot. Then 32. And I mirror cut it back. So that thing, so Mega Lock could just come in and one hit KO it. I go for protect, protect, seeing if he might want to switch. So there he goes into his Zapdos. I just went for mirror cut, letting this thing go down. Here is what scares me. He sets up a tail. A tail. And there was no way I was gonna live a hit, even with Wakan Berry. So I just went for Miracle in case that there was that small chance I could live, but nope. So here goes Mega Mawa, and I'm like, Hacker needs to do his job. Then Hacker never does his job. So I predict him to switch because it's a minus one Mega Mawile. I don't care if you have huge power or not. That's not going to be doing much damage to the rest of my team. So I just click U-turn. But he goes for Sword Stance and I'm just sitting here thinking, no. So I go into Mega Lock to swallow out the last turn of Tailwind and go for Fake Out. He probably just thinks I was forgot about Tailwind, but nope. So here, I go for high jump, because that was the only play I could make. And here comes Zapdos, and it takes 37 from Mega Lop high jump kick. That's resistant. So I just click return here so I don't have to worry about missing one. Mega Lop gets the first kill on my side. So he goes into the team, and I'm like, it's Scarf. So I switch into Dawn Fan. And you saw how defensive this thing is. It took 67%. Tell me that is not scary. So I just go for Ice Shark because I wanted to get some damage off. So after this, I go into Galvantula. I don't know why I'm. Oh, yeah, because he's minus speed now. It's so like Galvantula at speeds, it'll kill. So I go for Bug Buzz, because I knew that was going to kill, and I predicted maybe a Uxie. 
So I just switched into Registeel here because I didn't want to take a potential try attack. But he just goes for the recovery. Here I go for a Toxic. And I miss. So he goes to recreate here. I'm gonna have Oka Berry. And I just click EQ. Just gotta click the EQ. And it kills him, which is really nice. So he just goes into P2 here. And I go for Toxic, because I know he can't kill me. And I finally connected a Toxic. Took way too long. To do, do, do. So I just let him kill me here because there's no reason not to. So I just go into Mega Lock here because what's gonna switch in? I go for Fake Out because I don't think Return killed on Ooks yet. Now I'm trying to see if I can get him this thing also into Return range, but I did. So I just went for High Jump Kick. Here comes Uxie. And I just switch into Incineroar. Because Mega Mobile can't set up on anything. And I see this thing as Z, and I'm like, what is this thing doing? What kind of sort of Z move is this? And it's just Z Memento. And he goes into his Cream Arena, and I'm like, that's scary. Because if it's Scarf, it could probably just win here. But it's not. So I just go into Gavantula. I dropped the thunder, the thunder, because that killed Mega Mawile coming in, and all he has to do here is go for Sucker Punch, which just straight up killed me there, so I go to Mega Lop and I'm like, please, I'm going for Fake Out here just so I can get damage off, it didn't really matter, but if I had missed High Jump Kick there, I would have lost the game. So we won 1-0 against Twix Crobat. As I said before, one of the greatest guys in this league. He's... He is a good battler. His team, he told me himself, is just not good with him. He doesn't fit his playstyle because there's not much speed. Because base 100s and a 112 Skullipede. If you... Also, if you want notifications whenever I upload, click the little bell in the top right corner, and don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.